if it is or if it ain't, it's going to come out. everybody <laughs> it's your girl miracle sims and you're listening to god sex and love your daily notes of inspiration and yes it is november the 17th 2022 and today the topic is the teeming tapestry <sighs> happy thursday y'all happy thursday i hope that you all had a great day yesterday mine was just fine um not too, too much to happen throughout the day other than, you know, being a mom, trying to get some rest, things like that. Um, have some conversations. Um, there's some things in the works, y'all, as always. There's always things in the works. So, um, but I'm excited. I'm going to see what the Lord do with everything. But yeah, I had a good meeting yesterday. And then I ended up recording on someone else's podcast. So if that's what my day looked like yesterday. Um, as for today, I know that I have someone on the schedule to be on GSL later on uh, this afternoon, and that's about it. Um, so we'll see what happens outside of that, but yeah, that's that's what's going on in my world. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, this morning's juice is inspired by, I guess, a variety of things. Um Yes, partially, like slightly inspired by what time I got up. I got up around like 3.30. Um, and the Strong's Concordance looked familiar. So I was like, did, did I, you know, study this before? But for some reason, the word tapestry stood out to me today. Um, once I started to actually, you know, look up things after my, you know, after the prayer med- meditation. So that's one thing. Um, and the prayer meditation was also inspiration as well because... It had me thinking about like uh, the word unshakable stood out to me this morning uh, as I listened to the prayer meditation. Um, it also made me think about the word uh, the word foundation is in my mind right now, but that's not the word um, fortress. The word fortress also came into my heart and mind this morning as well. So I was looking up Bible verses since around all of those things. And it was standing out. It was kind of, you know, um, yeah, standing out a little bit. But ultimately, I went back to what I read in the Strong's. The word fortress started to stand out. Um, as I started looking up verses since around that, I started to just think about, you know, God's creation in general. And then ultimately, that's. I feel like is ultimately what led me to um, this topic today. Now, I know this word teeming or teen, T-E-E-M, um, it's not something I think, I mean, I don't use it every day. It was, you know, so I did have to look it up to confirm what it meant and everything like that. And um, I guess when I came across the definition, um, it stood out to me to put it with the topic for today, put it with the title one. So, yeah, the teeming tapestry um I guess basically in the midst of my studies this morning I just started to um well as I started to write the verses down that was standing out to me um I noticed that the theme was more so like in awe um it was in celebration of sorts like um you know thinking about God and all his majesty and and everything that he created and and in some ways, perhaps we are a teeming tapestry. We're, um, I know that the normal definition of tapestry makes you think about this intricate rug and everything like that. But the second definition that I'm going to share uh, momentarily was the one that kind of stood out. And then thinking about the fact that, you know, God created everything and um, how everything is living and breathing and active and moving and all these things. Um, yeah, a living, breathing, moving tapestry is what the inspiration is for today. That's, I guess, what I'm 
picturing when I think about this title, the teeming tapestry. And so, y'all, let's get into uh, some Bible and some definitions and whatnot so you guys can see what I'm talking about, right? So, uh, one of the first definitions that I defined this morning or that I feel led to share is the definition for tapestry. The second one that I came across, it says, used in reference to an intricate or complex combination of things or sequence of events. So, yeah, again, the first definition is, you know, talking about a rug and everything like that, but... This is what was really standing out to me um, this morning. And again, I didn't come across teeming until like one of my last verses. But I'm going to go ahead and share the definition of the word team, which is T-E-E-M. It says, be full of or swarming with. Be full of or swarming with. So, yeah. Yeah. I mean, maybe that's too deep to think about right now. So let's get into these verses, y'all. <laughs> let's see what the Bible has to say and where this inspiration came from. So John 1 and 3 says, All things were made through him, and without him was no, excuse me, was not anything made that was made. Um, I Again, I don't think we acknowledge that. I don't think we really, really understand the magnitude of that. That at the end of the day, God made everything. Um, you know, again, I know we like to take the credit for what we do, right? The things that we create, you know, we're like, oh, yes, I made this or that. Um, and I mean, I guess what just came into my mind right now is just, just like any artist wants to be celebrated. Like, you know, why should we not? give honor and glory to the one who made it all um it reminds me of this verse that's in the go deeper section it's actually the last verse um that i put there i did not write the full verse but um it's jeremiah 5 and 22 and it's pretty much like god asking the question like do you not fear me um and things like that like and i would say again in the bible when it refers to god the fear is also on the same lines of respect. Um, no, I don't think we do respect him and his position. You know, I think that we, as humans, we oftentimes celebrate and um, worship the creations versus the creator, um, which is the strangest thing. Um, <laughs> it is the strangest thing. But, um, you know, again, we like worship one another. You know, we lift up other humans. We make our graven images and whatnot. We'll build something out of wood or gold and, and worship that um, rather than worshiping the person or the spirit that created it all. Um, so I don't know. Again, that's the inspiration today and whatnot. Um, but let's let's keep going, y'all. So Revelations 4 and 11, it says, Worthy are you, our Lord and God, to receive glory and honor and power for you created all things, and by your will, they existed and were created. So again, this is who deserves all the glory, honor, praise, and everything like that. Uh, the fact that we would rather uh, show glory and honor to, quote unquote, the universe, right? What we rather show glory and honor to, again, each other or anything else, but giving it glory and honor to the Lord is just, it's, it's, again, it's interesting. <laughs> it's interesting to observe, but again, it happens all around us every day, all day, every day. Uh, let's keep going, y'all. Hebrews 11 and 3. By faith, we understand that the universe <laughs> was created by the word of God, so that what is seen was not made out of things that are visible. So again, you know, we like to say the universe and, and anything else that don't hold us accountable, right? I believe, again, maybe this is what it boils down to. Again, we want to be our own God. We don't want to believe that there is a God. Therefore, um, but we want the blessings, right? We want to believe that, you know, there's all these blessings and things like that. And so we just, you know, narrow it down to the universe. But even if we want to call God the universe or use that as a substitute, you're still worshiping creation. You're still not acknowledging the creator. Um, 
but in the word here, it says repeatedly um, throughout in these verses that I've shared as well as others is that, um, you know, everything is a uh, testament to God. Like, you know, the earth, us, the sky, the sea, all these things are proof of God, for lack of a better word. But again, we'd rather not acknowledge that. We'd rather just focus on those things and, and look to those things as if they are God. Um, it doesn't sound wise, you know, but it's something that we do as humans. And so, I mean, I guess I'm just trying to take out some time today to acknowledge the one, you know, the creator versus the creations. Um, let's see, Psalm 104, 24, and 25 it says O oh lord how manifold are your works in wisdom i have excuse me in wisdom have you made them all the <laughs> in wisdom have you made them all the earth is full of your creatures here is the sea great and wide which teems with creatures innumerable living things both small and great. Um, that's just taking one aspect of God's creation, just the sea, and thinking about how intricate it is. I know that, like, you know, there's a lot of people that try to study and everything like that. Um, they talk about things as small as plankton to things as large as whales that are in the sea, right? And um, and maybe even things that we don't even uh, know, right? <laughs> You know, and everything like that. Because what I'm hearing is the murder kingdoms and all that stuff is, you know, there's some truth to that stuff. But what I'm hearing, you know, now I know that's deep. You know, we might not like to think about that and whatnot. But I'm just telling you what what uh, they say, <laughs> whoever they are, right? Um, but again, yeah, just taking that one part of Earth, right? That one part of God's creation and just looking at how intricate it is. Looking how, again, it says the word teams, it swarms with life. Um, small and great. Um, I mean, I don't know. Can we even, we can't even really wrap our minds around just the ocean, um, just the bodies of water, like, let alone the land, let alone the, the air, the sky, you know, let alone us as each individual person and our bodies, how intricate it is and everything like that. It's just, again, from what I'm understanding, y'all, everything is, a testament of God and his creation, him being a creator. And, um, I mean, you know, that's the juice this morning, just, you know, taking time to acknowledge God and, as the creator and, you know, and I guess be in awe of him. And, and then don't even, can we talk about this for a second, y'all? Look, the grace and the mercy <laughs> as well. Like that's even deeper, um, which actually leads me to the Bible verse of today which is Luke 6 and 28. It says, bless them that curse you and pray for them which despitefully use you. Why is God asking us to do that to our quote unquote enemies, to one another? He asks us to do these things. But then when you really truly think about it, like this is what he gives us every day. You know, his creation that don't acknowledge him, that like to worship everything but him. Um, he gives us again, grace, mercy, uh, he doesn't curse us and, you know, he blesses us in spite of all of those things. And so, and then in turn, he asks us to bless those that curse us and pray for those that use us. Um, and again, anybody that, um, you know, you should be humbled enough to do that because you understand that God has done that for us. So, you know, that's the juice today, y'all. Y'all can go deeper. Plenty more verses in the go deeper section to peruse and let marinate on your heart, souls, and minds. Like I said, I just wanted to, you know, take some time to acknowledge the teeming tapestry today. And um, like I said, that is the juice. Um, today is Thursday, so that means that a new episode of God, Sex, and Love, the talk show, should be coming out tomorrow at 7 p.m. Um, it should be the episode that we were advertising last week, which was Miss Deanna Idris. Um, or Idris, <laughs> um, yeah, her episode should be coming out this Friday and everything like that. But that's it, y'all. That's the juice. I hope that you all are encouraged and inspired 
to acknowledge the creator versus the creation. And yeah, I look forward to talking to y'all tomorrow. The Lord's will. Bye-bye. Hello, everyone. It's your girl, Miracle Sims. And you already know that your girl is now an author. And my very first publication is none other than a creation inspired by the juice. That's right, friends. You can go on Amazon.com and find the juice 30-day Bible study journal. And this, friends, I hope and pray will help you create your own Bible study experience similar to the one that your girl here shares with you every day here on God's Sex and Love.